All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to show you uh, the grand results of dropping a Super Duke throttle body on an adventure. Now, a couple things you should know before uh, uh, we go on is that uh, the we call the the adventure throttle bodies 54s and we call the Super Dukes 59s. And, and really what that is is a measurement at the top of the throttle body. They actually taper slightly differently. So at the bottom of the throttle bodies where they kind of meet the head, um, they're actually almost exactly the same. The Super Duke being about a half a millimeter larger on the bore. So an adventure is about a 54 um, at the bottom and top. And a Super Duke is 59 at the top and about 54 and a half on the bottom uh, below the butterflies. So uh, the Super Duke has a little bit more of a dramatic uh, taper to it. And so uh, another thing you got to remember is that a Super Duke throttle body is also feeding a head that has been flowed uh, for that size throttle body. So dropping that on an adventure is not really the proper thing to do, but we wanted to kind of see what would uh, eventually happen. So what we've got in front of us here are basically a stock adventure run and a highly modified adventure. So this, this line right here um, represents a stock uh, 2017 1290 Adventure R. So uh, peak horsepower is about 121 uh, horsepower, and then with a Rottweiler uh, intake system and a Stage 6, which is a Power Commander, Auto Tune, and Ignition Module, uh, we're bringing up a good 13 and a half horsepower here uh, to 134 um, 0.64 uh, horsepower. So down in the meat where you ride it, some significant gains here, 85 to 99. I mean that's 15 horsepower just where you ride it. Um, you know, 101 to 119, so pretty pretty dramatic. So this is stock, this is highly modified. Now we're going to start bringing in runs from the Super Duke. Um, you're going to start to see some interesting things with the uh, air fuel ratio. So right down here, uh, this is your air fuel ratio line, and what you're shooting for is this dotted line right here. Okay, so this one uh, modified, we're sitting at about 13.7, pretty even, and this has all been auto tuned. Uh, it's never been tuned on a dyno. The auto tune did all of this, and this is kind of where we have it set. Interestingly enough, uh, the stock is fairly rich in this area, which is probably robbing some horsepower too. Um, this run was not done under 5,000 RPM. We didn't do this run. We didn't own the dyno at the time, so you probably would have seen this dip up uh, somewhere in this area, and then right outside a closed loop, which is about 5,000 RPM, it would have dipped down to about here. Um, but we're going to start bringing in the runs. Uh, from the Super Duke, and you can see the first one we brought in, just dropping the throttle body on there, didn't really do anything. Uh, significant loss of horsepower uh, here. I mean, that's that's six horsepower right there uh, alone. Um, now, there were a couple anomalies here and there as we bring these in, so we're going to bring them in kind of one at a time to show you, you know, consistencies. You know, you can see, you know, you do enough runs over and over and over, you start to see a consistent pattern. Now, sometimes the motor is a little bit happier. Uh, it's in its, uh, you know, sweet zone, you know, heat-wise and that sort of thing. So you might see some gains and some losses depending on how hot the engine is. Um, but you'll start to see some fairly common. I'm going to highlight the, um, the highest one here so it kind of separates it. Uh, but you start to see some pretty common threads throughout. You're seeing the same thing over and over and over. Now, there was one anomaly, this guy right here, um, that is pretty consistent. So you can you, we kind of zoom in and see this green line. It's right there uh, with everything, but really starts to excel up top here. Um, interestingly enough, it was a little bit lean on the AFR. So um, while we didn't do any actual tuning of this, we kind of dropped it on and let AutoTune kind of do its thing. Um, and you can see when we first started doing runs, it was a little bit lean as you would expect right here. Uh, but the more runs we did, you can kind of see auto tunes start to come in and get those AFRs, those air fuel ratios, a lot closer to 13.2, which is about what makes power plus or minus. This is obviously right when you get on it, uh, when you start to make the run on the dyno, so that you see a spike of richness and it kind of comes back. Um, so any, anyway, basically what we're looking at is about what we expected, and it was about when you know you put a larger carburetor on a dirt bike back in the two-stroke days, is you'd lose some bottom. Uh, right here, and you see a significant loss. Um, right here, you you know you're seeing, you know, uh, you know stock or highly modified, I should say. Stock we're running 96, highly modified with a stage six we're running 114, and you're seeing a loss of anywhere between two, um, you know, two to you know what is this, eight horsepower uh, just in just past where you ride the bike at uh, 6,000 RPM. And uh, but what you'll start to see is is up past seven or eight thousand RPM is really where 
that throttle body starts to shine and consistently starts kind of taking over up here. So unless you're willing to ride that bike above 7,000 RPM all the time, um, dropping that throttle body uh, isn't really going to work. Now, of course, uh, if you put a set of Super Duke heads, valves, cams on there, which are all um, basically uh, built and designed to work with that size throttle body, you would realize some pretty serious gains, uh, um, which is a pretty safe guess. And I know what you're thinking, you know, it's a little bit ridiculous to have that much horsepower on a, uh, on a adventure, but there's some guys that just street the things alone and they want as much as they can get, or, you know, they, they just want that power on the street and they can dump it down in the dirt. So, um, that's basically, you know, with a little bit of tuning, we actually never tune the bike. We just let auto tune do everything, uh, which it does a pretty good job. Um, that's basically what we found out by dropping, uh, the Super Duke throttle body on adventure. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the interest. And, uh, See you in the next video.